today, uh, this morning, uh, we are here at the Memorial Events uh, Center to celebrate and to recognize our top 10% uh, honor students. So we are the top 10% uh, honor banquet. Well, first and foremost, uh, congratulations to our students for such a great and amazing job that they did throughout the four years. Of course, for them, it's a little uh, more special because they went through all this pandemic thing, you know, but right now, um, luckily, it seems that we're at the tail end of that, and I'm just so proud of our students for being able to be, to be able to prevail and, and go through all that and be able to, to survive and be able to do well and keep up with their studies, and, and now here we are, you know, celebrating them. It was amazing, very uplifting. Like felt like I had a huge weight taken off my shoulders. You know, getting the grades, seeing the grades on the report card, seeing the results like is rewarding enough, but to hear that you made it, like you're on the top, like it was amazing. I'd like to thank my parents. Most of all, my parents are on top, but all in all, it was, I feel like it was a combination of my teachers, my coaches, um, the staff at JHS, my counselors, Ms. Guerra and financial aid, like she, all of them played a really key part in helping me accomplish what I have. I plan on going to Texas A&M at College Station and I plan on majoring in either aerospace or computer engineering and I plan on pursuing a career in a space field, space organization, maybe like SpaceX or NASA hopefully and just help in discovering what's beyond. In order to get here, there's been a lot of sacrifice, a lot of hard work, effort, but most importantly, the time. The more time you put into your work, your craft, the better results you'll see. It was a little bit more exciting and relieving and just felt like everything that I was working on uh, my four years of high school was worth it because I remember uh, many times I would stay up all the way past until even past 2 a.m after coming home from band practice at 8 p.m. and just working on my homework hours and hours. Knowing that having to pull all-nighters, having to sacrifice, um, hanging out with my friends all came to, um, to an end. I want to really thank uh, my mom uh, for encouraging me. Um, even though um, she um, immigrated from Mexico and doesn't understand the American school system, she was there for me, um, both mentally and emotionally. And I want to thank my sister as well because um, she introduced me to all the college applications and helped me become who I am today. And along with that, I want to thank um, I want to thank all my teachers, but specifically uh, my band directors because not only have they uh, helped me grow as a musician, but as a person as well. And they helped me uh, branch out and be more vocal to the point um, where I can be able to communicate uh, my thoughts to everyone. I'm actually going to Brown University um, and I'm planning to both um, double major in math and, and physics and hopefully I can become a researcher in either one of those fields. Don't compare yourself to others. Everyone has their unique story and you shouldn't judge yourself compared to others because they have their own unique challenges and you have yours as well. Uh, I know that our, that our teachers, our staff, they do a phenomenal job you know, for us and, getting them ready and preparing our students for whatever it is that they plan to do after, uh, after high school, whether it's a, a technical a career, whether it's a job, or whether it's a college. We know that our kids are ready and they will be very successful in whatever it is it that they plan to do. That we are very sure enough, that they have enough uh, preparation to be ready for whatever it is it that they want to do after high school.